today let's talk about angular component in this lecture we will talk about what is component what are the architecture of the component and the file structure how to generate a component and working with component so let's start what is component in angular components are building blocks of the user interface let's say ui they are the responsible for encapsulation a part of the application's logic and corresponding view each component is designed to be modular and reusable with maintained architecture now let's see uh, with example this is a component file where we have imported component from angular core and this thing is called decorator and this is a component class here we have a metadata for the decorator which is selector template url and the styling path and here in the class we can uh, define the variables and the logic part for the ui to generate a new component we need to run a command ng generate component and the component name so we will generate a new component um, ng generate component and the component name so let's name it test component and the component is generated here is the component we have the angular generated component css html and the ts file of this component to include the component file that we have generated we can use this selector which represent a html tag selector so we can use it by like uh, defining a html tag so we can use this and this represent that the view that are here is included in this particular view so let's see here test component works so as you can see here is test component so like uh, if we use variables like this in this so we can use a uh, title string is equal to hello from test component and we can show it here we'll wrap it into a p tag this title we can bind this title into this component and we will see what will be the output and the output is hello from test component so we can provide a uh, css also for this particular template we, let's do it this is a css file for p we can define color to let's say blue for the, all the p tag the blue color is defined for this all p tag in this component it will not reflect in this component let's see it here the color of this 
paragraphs are changed into blue but it is defined in the child component and it is it doesn't reflected in the parent component so all the components is components that we use is independent of each other that we use uh, define use or define the variables or anything so if if we want to communicate communicate or establish a communication between the component we need to use few thing that we we will talk about in our next lectures now let's talk about different types of selector that we have so this is a tag selector so we can use uh, or apply a component into another component using css selector also and attribute selector also so if we want to use it as a attribute selector in that case we need to use this bracket and after using this bracket we can use this particular component not with a tag selector we can use it as a attribute we need to just define here like an html attribute and we can see the component is included in the parent component or if we want to use this use it as a class so we can define like this with the dot in front of the selector name and after that we can use it like class equals to the component name so again we can see here if i remove it from here as we have defined it as a class selector and if we use it as a uh, attribute selector that will not work so that's that these all are the uh, type of selectors so what are the different types of selector we have let's uh, open this this so we can talk about it like we have html tag selector define it by using and the name for uh, attribute we can use it like this and the name for class selector we can use it like this okay so after that we will talk about different template if we want to use like a uh, template instead of template you are defining the template right here so we will comment this template and use it like this or we can use this also so h1 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 to close and hello from test component 
let's see what will happen oh we haven't uh, used it okay so we have used the wrong selector it's a class selector so this is the class selector now let's see see here it is h1 tag if we want to use it like uh, we don't want to include css url so we can use it like style colon and we pass the array and we want to style h1 so the color of the h1 tag is blue so if we want to define like uh, another style to it um, let's have a p tag also here hello p tag all p tag we also have and we can define it like p and color of the p is let's say three so the color of the p tag will be Green. That's all for the initial part of the component. Let's more talk about it in the next lectures.